This is a demo of Hillstone's Cloud Sandbox. To create sandbox protection, we first need to create a Cloud Sandbox profile. There are an existing set of 25 profiles but you can also create your own. Type your name. Choose whether you want to use whitelist, as well as check for certificate in the file. For action, you can choose log only, or reset connection. Sandbox supports 8 types of files, and you can choose one or multiple of them. Cloud Sandbox also supports 5 different protocols. For each protocol, you can choose upload or download, or bi-directional. Now the profile has been created. There are other globe options, for example, for each of the file types, there are file size controls. This is the list of malwares that have been detected on this system. It is putting them on a local blacklist. There is also a local white list if you ever decide to trust that certain file for a specific reason. After you create a profile, you need to create a policy that uses that profile. Let's create a new policy. Let's make this an any policy. For sandbox, we will choose the profile we just created. Let's put it at the top of the list. So our policy has been created to use the sandbox protection. Let's go to the logs and see the actual logs that have been detected on this system using Cloud Sandbox. Cloud Sandbox uses MD5 filtering, as well as dynamic analysis if it cannot find an MD5 match. Here we can see a malware has been detected by dynamic analysis. For Cloud Sandbox logs, go to Detailed View. It shows you the source and destination IP addresses, the zone where it is happening, the action that has been taken, as well as the profile that has been used. There is also a threat level that has been assessed by the sandbox. You can also download an analysis report for a more detailed view. In the analysis report, you will find details of that file and why the sandbox determined that it's a malware. The report shows you loaded libraries, registry, files that have been touched, etc. It gives you a detailed report to start an analysis of this specific malware, 